Istanbul. This is Bill Neely in Paris, where people waited hours to buy the magazine terrorists tried to kill off. It normally sells 50,000. It sold out fast, three million copies. Many bought it to defy the terrorists. They wanted to buy this one to, to protest. Three million copies sold, another two million ordered in numerous languages. The cartoonists say this issue of the magazine, depicting on its front page a tearful Prophet Muhammad, is a triumph for free speech. In Muslim areas of Paris, they disagree. They say showing the Prophet Muhammad is provocative. Say provocation. The more, more, more provocation. Why are you talking about my Prophet? It's not your religion. Why are you talking about this guy? I think it will bring a civil war. You think a civil war is possible? A civil possible? war is uh, coming, yes. Police have now charged this famous Muslim comedian who identified with one of the killers with advocating terrorism. More than 50 more Muslims have been arrested for defending terrorism, mostly on social media. The killings carried out by Islamic extremists have resulted in more than 50 revenge attacks on Muslims, mostly minor. The French president was talking tough today on an aircraft carrier heading for the Middle East and airstrikes against Islamic militants. Striking militants at home without alienating his Muslim fellow countrymen is now his biggest challenge. Well, today, a week after the massacre, this magazine became the biggest one-day sellout in French publishing history. Tomorrow, Secretary of State Kerry arrives here to discuss the aftermath of the massacre and how to stop another one. Brian. Bill Neely in Paris. Richard Engel before that. Our team remains.